Hey everyone, this is Johnny, and this is just a quick update for episode 18 to say I've decided to stop documenting my nutrient IV uh, treatments and stop basically documenting my health here on YouTube in general. I feel I've done more than enough to talk about eating disorders and health, and right now um, I'm really focused on trying to give my complete heart to God, my life, hand over the eating disorders, and move on and be at one with God. Because in my opinion, eating disorders, engaging in them, thinking about them is sin. God does not want that. He did not design us to do that and that destruction. I feel it's of the devil and in the Bible, you know, basically you know, says to be at one with God. And if you're not at one with God and you're with sin, then you're not with God. And I'm feeling a strong pull to really move away from people of the world, from influences of the world, from anything that would keep me from or hinder me from connecting with God to my full ability. And having the Holy Spirit live within me and to feel Christ Jesus in me fully and not basically live half a life of living for the Lord but also living in sin. There's no room for God in addiction. Bottom line, there's no room for God in sin. Okay? Either live for the Lord and live with the Lord in you or live in sin. And I feel I'm walking in the middle because I love the Lord so much but then when I'm engaging in the addiction it's like I love sin so much and it's it's ludicrous and I don't want to live this way and I need to just take this into devotion with God and get my advice, get my feedback, get my influence, get my um, opinions from God through his word, through prayer and meditation with God whatever he reveals to me, whatever scriptures I'm led to. Right now, Romans 7 and 8 are very powerful for me. They are both convicting for me, showing me uh, where I need to change, showing me uh, how I need to change, and uh, there's a lot of blame going on for the sin. I know no one's perfect, but in Romans it talks about being dead to sin, and I want to be dead to sin. Right now I'm still very alive to sin, and I don't want that. So it's really about me and God right now, and I feel like I've spent a majority of my life documenting my life, trying to serve man, trying to help other people, when really I need to be serving God, and I need to be helping myself. So... I will make videos for my YouTube account as I'm led to. I will let you know most likely they're going to be Christian religious based because this is where I'm at and uh, this isn't going to change. And that's my focus and my devotion and I feel I'm only going to grow stronger with the Lord so my messages on God and Christianity and stuff are going to get stronger. I do have a whole bunch of videos, some of them I, I can't even go back and watch because I wasn't walking with the Lord strong at all when I made some of them. But I have a whole library up and that's what I can offer people. And I do have this Nutrient IV uh, therapy up to 17 videos documented on a playlist for those who are interested. So thank you all for the support you've given me throughout the process of documenting the Nutrient IV therapies. I will continue to do them, I just will not be documenting them. And continuous prayers over my health is greatly appreciated. I wish you all the best and God bless and you're all in my prayers. I pray for anyone that knows the Lord to just keep walking with Him and anyone that doesn't know him that whatever is keeping you from him will be removed so thank you god bless prayers and blessings bye-bye